Alright, today I thought I'd do something totally different. Um, there's been lots of reviews about all different kinds of antennas. And as you can see here, I have a few antennas myself. And you always end up with loads of these dipole antennas uh, lying about. And you usually just put them in a box and end up buying more antennas like these ones. Uh, you get your four leaf clover your cheapest ones but these are actually not too bad they're good for smaller quadcopters uh, where you want flexibility you know um, I mean they can take a hit or two until the the actual clover leaves start to bend but they're not too bad I, I've used it on the uh, the Rodeo 150 and I find it quite good you know, so smaller quadcopters, I would recommend these. Uh, if you want to keep it light and you want to protect your VTX. Now, um, my biggest recommendation that I've always recommended was the Aonway antennas. And I still do. They're amazing antennas. Um, I found a couple of weak spots in it though. Uh, believe it or not, I mean, you could look at this an antenna and say, oh, look at it, it's brand new. But then again, I've had one looking like this. And believe it or not, underneath, uh, you can peel the Aon Way sticker away. And when you do, let me just peel this away because it doesn't really matter to me now. When you do pull this sticker away, let me just rip it off and show you. You will see the solder joint under there. Let me get the light. Why is my light never where I want it to be? You'll see where it's all soldered up under there, right? And it's also... they put a little dab of gooey stuff here where it's soldered as well. And I found myself with an, the AOM way antenna, it looked brand new, and I'm getting a lot of signal breakup, and I'm going, what the hell is going on here, you know? And believe it or not, I gave the little clovers, you know, the little bends, a little wiggle, and lo and behold, just down where it's soldered, it was actually cracked and split, and it was split in there as well you know uh, apart from that like I said they are amazing antennas so just remember if you are running the air on ways and you do find something wrong check underneath there you that's where you're more than likely to find a, a little um a little little say that again and bite my tongue a little snap just under there where it's soldered. Just rip that uh, sticker off and double check up here. Just give them all a wiggle. Okay. Um, so I, I thought I'd get that out of the way. Now you've got your big fat shark antennas. You know, completely indestructible. Uh, I haven't used them very much to be truthful. Right, now I've got that out of the way. There's newer antennas coming into the market now. A lot of people are getting into diversity receivers. And um, I had showed this in a video when I first got my Fat Shark uh, diversity module, which is the Invader patch. Now, I have to admit, the Invader patch, it runs at 6.5 db you can buy them in right hand or left hand circular polarization and this is a really good pax antenna um i've heard other folks saying that it's just as good or the same as this uh the mini spiral net uh fat shark antenna and that's it uh the spiral net one is a uh, 8 dbi you know, so, and, and the price for this, comparing to the Fat Shark, you can get this for £9.95 from Menace RC, 
or if you were to get the spiral net which is basically double the price um uh, at 20 pound you know so uh this is a bargain to get uh and you can uh, uh for you chaps in america you can get you can get it from uh, getfpv.com you can get it there for like 14 dollars um so i would highly recommend you get one of these uh instead of the the spiral the mini spiral net uh, packs antennas because they do a really good job now i can't compare it because i don't have the spiral net ones i'm just going by what i've read what i've seen and what i know and for me it does a really good job now when you pick one of these up you should uh, grab yourself a little extension now um the little extension i got is a five centimeter sma male to sma female connector so i uh, just uh, connect it onto the back of the the pax antenna bend it whatever way i want to and um just hook it onto my goggles and i always make sure well i don't know about you guys but I tend to face, uh, I have my head pointed down the way when I'm flying with my goggles on. Some people like I know look upwards, uh, I don't know what way you look, <laughs> but I look down so I've got to face my PAX antenna upwards uh, to whatever direction I want it to be, uh, you know. So uh, there you have it, everybody get their weird way of facing their head while they're flying, which I find quite funny, uh, you know. Um, okay, <laughs> somebody knows who I'm talking about, uh, they know who I'm talking about, the person that faces up, they look up and I look down anyway, I thought that was quite funny. Now, there is a real contender to the market, it's only been out for about a month. And um, it's called a Pagoda antenna. Now, uh, I can't actually show you much in here, but I can explain a little bit about it. Um, it has three, right, if you don't know, Pagoda is like a, I think it's like a Chinese temple. You know those Chinese temples with layers of um, roofing on them? So this is what this is like. It's got layers of PCB boards inside here. It's got three of them. And um, you can get them in right hand or left hand polarization, okay? Circular polar, uh, polarization. And uh, uh, comparing this to what I usually recommend is the own way. I am finding this Pagoda antenna to be really, really good. Uh, it doesn't, uh, in some places, it does not come with this plastic casing. It comes with no casing at all to protect it. And you'll just see uh, bare PCB bolts. Uh, one big one at the top, a medium sized one in the middle and a smaller one at the bottom. Uh, but this one does have the protective casing on which is good and the actual cable itself is tough. I mean it is really tough. It's just as tough as the little extension that I've got, you know. Um, a little bit more about this now. Um, the gain on this antenna is uh, 1.09 dB and you are supposed to, this is uh, from what I've read, get 20% greater signal received than any other omnidirectional antenna. Now a few people that I've seen have tested these out and said, nah, they haven't seen much difference with uh, the Pagoda and uh, any other clover leaf or omnidirectional antennas, but I have noticed a big difference. And I've heard uh, uh, another few people that have noticed a big difference, you know. So um, you can get the Pagoda antenna from Menace RC for £12, 
Or you can get it from a place in the US uh, called farview.com for uh, basically $15. Now, I'm going to post all links in the description to this uh, Pagoda antenna. Um, the other thing I have to say, the guy who actually created this, his name is called Martin Bart. I hope I have said that right. Uh, he has a page up. You can make them yourself as well, so you don't need to buy them. Uh, and they are a lot easier to make than a uh, cloverleaf antenna. Um, so I thought I'd get it out there about these new pagoda antennas. I, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. But I've been running it for, like, say... I don't know, well, about a month, because it basically just came out round about Christmas. I haven't put it on my quadcopter to fly. I've only used it on my goggles, so I couldn't really tell you the durability of it on a quad when it crashes, but all I know is it is tough. The cable's tough, and... Uh, that plastic house in there is just as good as the fat shark one. You could play the drums here if you wanted to, you know. <laughs> um, but for the moment, on my uh, diversity module on my fat shark V3s, I am running both uh, the Menace RC Pats and the uh, Pagoda antenna and uh, they are doing a good job for me um i don't know a whole lot i'm i'm still new as you all know with reviews in that but uh if you have any questions about any of the antennas or maybe something i've missed out or anything like that just leave a comment below and i'll do my best to my knowledge, to give you all the information that you need, uh, like I said, all links to these two, not the rest, only the Pagoda and the Pax and Veda Antenna will be below, and I will be linking Martin Barat's uh, site so you can get all the de documentation there and uh, see how it's made and how much better it's supposed to be than your standard uh, circular polarization antenna and uh, you can test it for yourself if you have the money to pick one up uh, against an AMWay antenna or fat shark or clover leaf or whatever other one that you want to test it against but uh, for me I'm sticking with this just now don't forget to like and subscribe and as always happy flying